Hi, let's know about dengue fever. Introduction, sign and symptoms. Causative agent, diagnosis, treatment and prevention. So let's start with introduction. Dengue fever, also known as break bone fever, is a mosquito borne infection that can lead to a severe flu-like illness. It is caused by four different viruses and spread by Aedes mosquitoes. Symptoms ranges from mild to severe. Severe symptoms include dengue shock syndrome in brief DSS and dengue hemorrhagic fever in brief DHF. These usually require hospitalization. Around 2.5 billion people or 40% of the world's population live in areas where there is a risk of dengue transmission. Dengue is a endemic in at least 100 co countries in Asia, the Pacific, the Americas, Africa and the Caribbean. Symptoms usually begin four to seven days after the mosquito bite and typically last three to ten days. Effective treatment is possible if a clinical diagnosis is made early. Now about signs and symptoms. Symptoms vary depending on the severity of the disease. Mild dengue fever. Symptoms can appear up to seven days after being bitten by the mosquito that carries the virus. They include itching muscle and joints, body rash that can disappear and then reappear, high fever, intense headache, pain behind the eyes, vomiting and feeling nauseous. Symptoms usually disappear after a week and mild dengue rarely involves serious or fatal complications similarly about dengue hemorrhagic fever as first symptoms of the dengue hemorrhagic fever may be mild but they gradually worsen within a few days as well as mild dengue symptoms there may be signs of internal bleeding a person with Dengue hemorrhagic fever may experience flowing features, bleeding from the mouth, gums or nose, clammy skin, damage to lymph and blood vessels, internal bleeding which can lead to black vomit and fecase, a lower number of platelet in blood, sensitive stomach, small blood spot under the skin, weak pulse. Without promote treatment dengue hemorrhagic fever can be fatal now about dengue shock syndrome dengue shock syndrome is a severe form of dengue it can be fatal apart from symptoms of mild dengue fever the person may experience intense of stomach pain disorientation sudden hypotension that is a fast drop in blood pressure, heavy bleeding, regular vomiting, blood vessel leaking fluid. Without treatment, this can result in death. Now about causative agent. There are four dengue viruses that cause dengue fever. They are all spread by a a species of mosquito known as Aedes aegypti and more rarely by the Aedes albopictus mosquito. Aedes aegypti originated in Africa but nowadays it is found in tropical areas around the world, especially in and around area of human population. High risk areas Dengue fever is most common in subtropical and tropical area 
such as Central and South America, part of Africa, part of Asia, the Caribbean and the Pacific. Similarly, now about subheading diagnosis. The signs and symptoms of the dengue fever are similar to some other diseases such as typhoid, fever and malaria. This can sometimes delay an accurate diagnosis. The clinician or doctors will assess the symptoms and the person's medical and travel history and they may order some blood test to confirm the diagnosis as shown here. Now about treatment. Dengue is a virus so there is no specific treatment or cure. However, intervention can help depending on how severe the disease is. For milder forms, treatment includes preventing dehydration, using painkillers such as paracetamol, but point to be noted. Non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs such as aspirin or ibuprofen are not advised as they can increase the risk of internal bleeding. Point to be noted. More severe forms of dengue fever may need IV fluid supplementation, blood transfusion, hospitalization will allow the individual to be properly monitored in case of symptoms get worse. Now about prevention, no vaccine can protect against the dengue fever, only avoiding mosquito bites can prevent it. Anyone who lives in or travel to an at risk area can use a number of ways to avoid being bitten such as clothing reduce the amount of skin exposed by wearing long pants long sleeved shorts and socks so on mosquito repellents mosquito traps and nets door and window screens avoid scent Heavily scented soaps and perfumes may attract mosquitoes. Camping gear, treat clothes, shoes and camping gear with permethrin or purchase clothes that have been pre-treated. Timing, try to avoid being outside at dawn, dusk and early evening. Stagnant water, the Aedes mosquito breeds in clean stagnant water. Checking for an Removing stagnant water can help reduce the risk. To reduce the risk of mosquitoes bleeding in stagnant water, flowing point to be performed. Turn buckets and watering cans over and store them under shelter so that water cannot accumulate. Remove excess water from plant pot plates. Scrub containers to remove mosquito eggs. Loosen soil from the potted plants to prevent puddles forming on the surface. Make sure scrubber drains are not blocked and do not place potted plants and other objects over them. Use non perforated gully traps. In install anti mosquito bulbs. And cover any traps that are rarely used. Do not place receptacles under an air conditioning unit. Change the water in flowers bases every second day and scrub and rinse inside the fish. Prevent leaves from blocking anything that may result in the accumulation of puddles or stagnant water. When camping or Picnicking, choose an area that is always from still water. I hope this information will be helpful. Thank you for listening.
एंड वाचिंग हैव अ ग्रेट एंड प्रीसीस्टे